Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast. This is Nona. I'm Andrew. Welcome back. If you've never been here, if you've been here before, welcome for the first time. If you've never been here before, make sure you're subscribed on whatever platform because you're not and you're watching. So we know you want to be subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed. Click all of our social media links in the description of whatever platform you're on and give us a follow. Maybe we'll post stuff. And keep forgetting to talk about this. And actually, I need to give a shout out to Not K, who's a channel member officially now. That was awesome of you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll start we'll start actually putting that in the videos because I'll remember from now on. <laughs> you can join as a channel member and we have our merch self available on YouTube. So Obviously, you get a free also, shout out for being for being a channel member at one of the two tiers for the for the month that you're subscribed, you get a shout out on the show. So whoop, whoop. yep, prices start at ninety nine cents, I believe, and there uh, it tells you all of the benefits for all three tiers if you subscribe, become a member, whatever you want to call it, and we have been giving all channel members early access to videos as they've been published or edited. So we schedule, we don't run premieres because it, I don't think it works very well. I prefer just scheduled, putting the little thumbnail in your timeline and then it getting buried doesn't help us. And I'm getting on Andrew yeah. about getting ahead on our episodes. Hey, I had, so. I had all the last week's episodes done on Saturday. They were available for everybody to watch Monday, Tuesday and Thursday's episodes were available last Saturday. The point watch. being, I have been hounding him for months and finally, finally. So if you, if you are a channel member, when I go to schedule, even a short, if I go to schedule a short for next Monday, when you I get put to see it, when I put it up there, channel members can watch it when it goes up on YouTube. They don't have to wait until when it actually publishes. So that is one nice benefit. Um, there's three different tiers right now. If anybody knows of another perk that they would like us to add or update or change, we can add in some more tiers. But I put in the three logical ones for now. There's a 99 cent one if you just want to be like, I love the show. It's the easiest way to support us for the minimum amount other than hitting subscribe, which you should do right now. Uh, also visit the websites, everything down in the description. Nona and I support this out of pocket for the most part. So give our businesses a look, check them out. We'll catch you in those links. Probably. I'll know if you clicked it. I have the analytics. I'll know. Anyways, we're picking up kind of on trends again. Well, depending on the order that these release Boeing Starliner, as everybody has known, I have known since before the launch, that they weren't coming back on that fucking thing. NASA is, okay, if you never have like the Challenger disaster, you never have stuff like that happen, they probably risk it. But that's still recent enough that most people remember. Most taxpayers remember that stuff. So they're like, let's be a little bit cautious this time. Let's check some things. Let's give Boeing a little bit of time. 80 days goes by. NASA's finally like, you know what? Mm, no. But this is the first time in history of our spacefaring abilities that we've had multiple U.S. launch providers. So now we have first out-of-this-world problems. It's not a first-world problem anymore. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with that? Just right now on the spot. Good job. Yep. The previously they would practice if there was an emergency, they would practice coming back either in Soyuz, which is the Russians capsule or the Russians would come back on the space, the spaceship, whichever, blah, blah, blah. It was all emergency contingency things. Okay. Now the U S can just be like, you know what? We're just going to send up our other thing. So start, uh, if Starliner goes up, fails, SpaceX Crew Dragon to the rescue. Crew Dragon fails for some reason. You probably want to just send another Crew Dragon. <laughs> they have multiple, so they'll be okay. 
So it's nice. Like we never had that in the past. We don't have to rely on another nation, which is good because the space station is going to be crashed back into earth in six years. All righty. Yep. 2030. They're planning on. So what's the timeline for their rescue? Uh, February. Holy fuck. But do they have enough food? Yeah. 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 So the reasoning is they're going to undock Starliner autonomously. I mean, it, that that timeline might accelerate now based on what I just read. Um, the they're going to undock Starliner and have it come back to Earth as if it was bringing them back. It's just not going to bring them back. That way they can recover it. It's going to basically go through its demo as if it had people on it. Gotcha. And then they'll, assuming they are able to recover it, it makes it back in one piece, then they'll be able to work on it, Boeing can get it back and be like, okay, this is where we fucked up and fix it. You know, that thing was supposed to launch like six years ago. It They couldn't get it right on the ground. And then, so then yeah. why did they even do it to and begin with? So here's, here's the other thing, right? When the first... Why cr- is Boeing fucking up so much? Because they have absolutely no incentive to do things correctly when the government will continue to pay them. That's so fucked. Yeah. So it's it's national security best interest to actually continue paying them, even if they're fucking up. Screw people's lives. Yeah. yeah. That's so fucked. Yeah. So... um they were supposed to launch like 20, I think actually as early as 2015, it was supposed to launch a demo wow. mission or 2016, something along those lines. Couldn't get it to work, couldn't get it to work. Things they had at one point, they had put it, stacked the entire thing, had fueled up, and then they found more errors, had to pull the whole thing back down, tear it all apart, rebuild it, whatever. Mm-hmm. The other thing is they don't have the rapid iteration and things like that that SpaceX does. So SpaceX okay. has. The, the booster that SpaceX just lost a couple days ago, it landed on the barge and then just tipped over because one of the landing legs gave out and fell Aww. in the ocean. It was, okay. the, it was the 23rd launch of that booster. Do you know how many other boosters have launched more than once? Zero? Zero. Oh, I just guessed on that one so, by just your inflection in the way that you asked me. Yeah. It's 22 more than any other ever. Other than other SpaceX boosters. Okay. Yeah. So Sounds pretty good. Losing losing one here and there when I think originally they said the uh, life cycle of one of them was like 10. Okay. That was the, that's, hey, if we hit 10, we are, we break even, we're profitable. Everybody gets their space launches for dirt cheap. Okay. So to continue being able to use them, not only continue to be able to use them, but also use them for human launches means NASA and FAA are putting a lot of trust into them. This is originally, they didn't want anything that was reusable. They didn't want something that had already launched because they NASA felt like if it's not brand new, it could break. Mm-hmm. And then SpaceX proved, no, we can refurbish these things and turn them around within X amount of time. We have dozens of them. And once uh, Starship goes in, they'll have... Falcon 9, Falcon 9 Heavy, and Starship, which can all do different things, different payload capacities and different missions. So, and boot the booster for Starship is supposed to be reusable within like two days versus months right now for Falcon 9. Gotcha. It's like it lands on a barge out at sea and then it takes days to come back and then they have to take it off and they have to refurbish it all. Whereas Starship is going to land back on the launch stand or the tower. And then they're just going to go through and do their checks and balances, stack another Starship right on top of it and launch again. They want it to turn into the next airplane. Yeah, that's crazy. They want to launch people around the world in minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) So eventually they want to have these towers and every major Country. I'm just picturing people getting strapped in, start vomiting immediately because they're not ready for the G forces. Because if it's regular everyday people who are needing to go from, say, California to yeah. Japan for a meeting, yeah, and then, well, you'll be in a spacesuit, so you'll be puking on yourself. Right. That's just what I'm picturing. Like, 
Okay. Yeah. You might have saved a couple of hours of your life, but you made yourself really sick, and then you show up to your meeting really fucking sick. Hey, but you wouldn't be jet lagged. But it's a different <laughs> kind of sick. So which, which would you rather? I'd rather be tired than completely physically drained because my whole body went through. I don't know. They have. I would choose. They have a couple extra hours. They have ways to. We'll see. We'll see. In, probably in our lifetime. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if we make it that far in life. We will. So the Starliner, as of yesterday, apparently, is emitting a strange sonar noise that they don't know where it's coming from. Oh, yeah? So alien activity? Is that what you're hinting at? That's people that are retweeting it. They're like, this is how how the movie starts. The movie starts? Like every horror space movie. So I was like, there's a strange sound. We don't know what it is. Okay. So... The problem, okay, right now, do you always have to have a return contingency for all astronauts that are on the station? Okay. Meaning they can't just get rid of Starliner yet because at this moment, it's still the best hope for those astronauts to return in the event something happens to the station. A bunch of micrometeors hit it and it starts breaking up. They still have to have that capsule to return home. So... This thing might be getting ready to blow up and destroy the station. And they're mm-hmm. like, but it's still the best chance for us to get home. So we have to keep it. And maybe being taken over by aliens, question mark. Yeah, uh, I don't know that. But a couple of years ago, when they did the first, when Bob and Doug, I'll never forget because they're just Who's such. Who's Bob and Doug? The two astronauts that did the first demo mission for Star or for um crew dragon such generic names i thought you were literally like it's like bob hurley and doug making them something up no no bob and doug yeah so thing one and thing two they the, they did the first manned crew dragon mission uh demo mission demo one i think is what it was called to the station on a crew dragon hours after one of the starship tests blew up and all I was thinking, and I posted this, That's I was like, terrifying I was like, them. could you imagine you're strapped were in? Were they told? Probably. I'm sure they were. Or were they trying to boost morale and not tell them? No, I'm sure they, it, it, they're not sequestered. They still can consume the news and talk to their families. It's not like they're. If they're strapped in already. It, they're not strapped in for very long. So the uh, Falcon 9 is, uh, I can't remember the term. It's it's basically fuel and go. Once once the rocket is upright and it's being held up by the strong back and they start fueling it, it's they have so they the crew has to be in it, strapped in, everything else. They fuel it and within moments of it hitting hundred percent, they have to launch. Okay. If they don't launch, they have to drain all the fuel back out before they can even get the astronauts off the ship. Okay. So you you go up there only a couple hours, maybe two or three hours early. Up until then, they still have normal. And they when they're in there, they're still communicating. Right, that's still with, a few hours. And you said it was within a couple of hours. Like, so I'm looking for... Like the day before. Oh, I literally... I was taking your word as you said it. 12, 24 hours, something along those lines. Okay, so, they, so a couple of hours is different than a whole day <laughs> before. So which is know, it, Andrew? I don't know the exact timeline. I would have to look it up. But could you imagine the butthole pack, butthole pucker Puckering. factor of knowing shit? Because you definitely said packing. But yeah, well, if you're holding it in, you're packing it up. You're you're backlogged, literally. <laughs> so, ah. hey, the uh, the experimental the experimental spaceship that we're about to ride from this company who's never done this before Mm -hmm. just had a different experimental ship Mm -hmm. explode on the pad. Hmm. There are two different things, but were they given the opportunity to bail? No, no. Plus the way the dragon works, 
they have, and they have to test this, and it's actually pretty cool how they test it. There's these thrusters that they use when they're in space to adjust and maneuver and stuff like that anyways, Mm -hmm. but it's a launch ejection system, essentially. They stay in the capsule. They don't jump out. Okay. But say the rocket is going, then something fails here. We'll we'll call from my wrist down the booster, and we'll call this the the Crew Dragon. Mm -hmm. So something down here fails. This will detach and shoot away as fast as possible so that while this blows up, then they have to actually demonstrate that. So they blow one up. They launch it, separates, and they blow it up manually to show, look. And then they splash down the ocean safely. And they're like, see, nothing happened over here, so we can put humans on it. Do you remember the pointy thing on the Apollo, on the top of the uh, Redstone rockets from the Apollo missions? My mind just completely shifted gears did you see i know exactly i know exactly what you're thinking i don't know if i sent it to you or not but i either took a screenshot or i saved the image it's a you uh, know what i'm thinking yeah okay what am i thinking so listen hear me out real quick because you're gonna be like yep that's exactly what i was thinking this company has created a um human ish looking baby thing that trans people can shove up their asshole to give birth to pretend that they're giving birth to a human. What? Yeah. No, that's not what I'm thinking about at all. You were thinking about fisting. <laughs> because See? you were talking about butt packing and then you were using your fist. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull this up now. Oh my God. Here it is. Prosthetic baby that can be inserted deep into a loving embrace of the rectum where the trans woman can experience and celebrate the miracle of childbirth. <laughs> Wait, if you're a trans woman, then you've already created your vagina. <laughs> so, no, it wouldn't go in your rectum. It would go in your fake vagina. <laughs> Read the front name. The front The Bushman of no, no, the no, color. No, 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 oh, but but maybe thirteen inch large. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys are disgusting. <laughs> are you gonna order a butt butt baby? No. And I feel like it has to be said like that. Butt butt baby. <laughs> oh god! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the Grim Reaper. No, it's Skeletor. I thought that's the Grim Reaper. No, that's Skeletor from uh, He-Man. I don't know what that is. It's a cartoon from when we were kids. Okay, well, I didn't know that. He's like the evil guy, but... Okay, yeah. well, it looks like the Grim Reaper, so... Okay. <laughs> a boat boat, baby. I saved this one. I didn't send it to you yet either, but... you hear at three o'clock in the morning mommy my fart is on the floor <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at the kid look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the internet's undefeated in all ways so <laughs> in our first outer world problems we have the so crew nine, I believe, is what it is. Okay, is they were supposed to have launched already, but the docking port that Starliner is using is where Crew Dragon is supposed to dock. Okay, so now instead of having four crew members on crew nine that's launching sometime this month, they will only have two. The other two seats will be for the Starliner astronauts to return on. Okay, and that also means there's going to be a period of time where those astronauts have no way to evacuate because they have to undock Starliner. Anytime, anytime the space station has to do like a major maneuver, say they're, cause they know when their space debris coming towards it and everybody has to get into their, whatever their ships are. And then the, the spaceship will maneuver. However, needs to maneuver to avoid or get back to where it's supposed to be just in case something happens. Mm-hmm. Meaning if there's a just in case something happens, they're just going to be in the in the the um, space station with no way to evacuate. Right. They have no lifeboat. Yeah. I really think it'd be cool to go to Hawaii when they crash the 
space station. And when is that? 2030. Okay, maybe we'll have enough money to yeah. go to Hawaii by 2030. Do you know there's really cheap flights from Seattle, Tacoma to Hawaii? That's what Joe told us yeah, yesterday. Yeah. I was part of the conversation. Yeah. No, but I looked You're up telling verified. me yeah. as if I was not <laughs> part of the fucking conversation. But how much are flights to Seattle, Tacoma? SeaTac. Why is everything out there like a smushed together of words? You have JBLM, which he called JBLAM. Joint Base Lewis McCord. When I was in, it was just Fort Lewis and then whatever McCord Air Force Base. Now it's Joint Base Lewis McCord. Smushed the words together. Okay. Fort Sam Houston is now Joint Base Lackland. It's part of Lackland Air Force Base, which they just had a shooting. Somebody just rolled up on the gate of Lackland, opened fire on the gate guards, and then drove off. And they have no idea who it was. They didn't make any arrests. Nobody Holy was shit. hit. Yeah. Just happened a week or two ago. And they still haven't been caught? Nope. That is terrifying. Yeah. They just rolled up to the by the gate and just opened fire and drove off. And You know there's like thousands of cameras at the gate. So how did they not catch any license plate, any? Oh, I've only been on Lackland one time, and that was 17 years ago. Shit, no, I graduated over 17 years ago already. Graduated 17 years and five days ago or something like that from Fort Sam. So I was already in Indiana on leave. But I had only been there once. We And we did like our FTX at Camp Bullis, which is Marine Corps installation, which that sucked. And Fort Sam. Term, I mean, th- so what you saw at Bragg, it was kind of – because that was a main gate. Mm-hmm. There's other. What do you mean the Marine Station uh, was the worst? Oh, just because that was our FTX field training exercise. So we were outside and it was just dirt and dusty and hot. There was a hurricane in the Gulf that we were all hoping was going to hit because it didn't rain the entire time I was in San Antonio. The entire 16 weeks that I was there. It was just like 110 degrees and balls hot. Yeah. It was just outside. So you wanted it to be wet and hot? We wanted it just... to rain so that it would rain. We were outside and we just wanted rain. Gotcha. It sucked. It's just, yeah. It's just, I thought you were saying the marine facility itself. No, we terrible. were outside. We were out just out in the dirt. Hmm. Just imagine if you went to Brunswick County and you're just outside and there's no trees. Gotcha. Just, yeah. So, but the there's different there's different gates so some of them could potentially, but I didn't actually see images of it, so I don't know for a fact, but sometimes you can get close enough on like a passing road where you can essentially do a drive-by, which is, I'm assuming what they were doing. They probably gotcha. just came up, you know, perpendicular and shot and then just kept going. Gotcha. And because it didn't actually happen on post or base, it's San Antonio police jurisdiction. Right. So. So therefore not a priority. Probably nobody will ever figure out who it is. But you have all these weirdos trying to sneak on and ask for access to yeah, different. That's, there's a lot. <laughs> it happens so often. The, uh, I don't know if we talked about this or not, but that um, special operations soldier from that killed the line worker on his property. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're, uh, they've moved forward, no charges. So everything has been dismissed against him, which I want to read more. Like, I want them, they're not going to release who the people actually were. Maybe eventually they will. We'll see. Probably not, because, of course, they won't. They can't accuse anybody of anything, Nona, because that could start the war. You know? You know. Let's see, what else we got here? That was the big, the big story. Are you going to go to space? No. Why not? I've already told you. I have no interest. But what if it becomes like the coolest thing and everyone's doing it? Um, please genuinely take a second to look at my life and what in my life have you I feel like seen, you would have been a naysayer of airplanes too. Have before. you seen where I have done because it's the cool thing to do 
or because other people are doing it. Genuinely nothing. Absolutely nothing. But I'm saying I think you would have been the person when planes first came out that was like, nope. No. That defying gravity is not my interest. Yeah. So I think Possibly. I think I think your opinion might change in twenty years. I have too much to live for. I have four children that I need to stay alive for. Well, in twenty years they'll all be they'll all have I grandkids. I still plan to stay alive for <laughs> sick say, grandkids. I didn't say you weren't gonna be alive. But. Right. I just putting my life at risk for the cool thing has never been an interest of mine. Yeah. Not when I was in high school. Your life's always not a now. Risk. Yes, getting in the car is a risk, but... A boulder could fall from space right now, right? But on top the of this point house. being, I have never done anything because it's, quote, unquote, the cool thing to do. Okay. I give zero fucks about what the cool thing to do is. Okay. It's true. So. So. Ryan Seacrest. That he, apparently he's old and he's been written into the Wheel of Fortune. Takes a spin as new host of Wheel of Fortune. Oh, he's already started? Apparently, two hours ago is when that article from CBS News came out. Daytime TV's big moves, what's new, and what's already been canceled. That's the name of the article from TV Line. I'm not clicking it. Ryan does, Seacrest under does enormous American pressure. American Idol still I'm sure they exist? Can, I'm sure they can do multiple things because they don't record all at the same right, time. I'm just, d does American Idol even still exist? Because that's all I know him from. I just saw an ad yesterday for one of those shows where now they're making it live. America's Got Talent or something like that, where the show's, it's not going to be pre-recorded, it's actually going to be live. So America's Got Talent has always had parts of it that were live. No, no, no. They're, the entire show is live. It's not parts. It's all live is what they're promoting. From start to end? I thought it was a summer show. Like that they're at the point now in almost that? September where it would be at the live part where they're down to the finals. My girls used to like watching it because of all the dance competitions in it. And they used to both gotcha. compete in dance competitions. We haven't watched it in several years together. I've never watched it. Never cared about it. I like seeing clips where, what's his name, Simon is making fun of people because he reminds me of the chef guy. Okay, well, now you're talking about American Idol. We were talking a second ago about America's Got Talent. Isn't they're, that guy? They're two different shows. What's his name? Um, Simon Cowell moved over to Ameri America's Got Talent. I don't know. I could have sworn I saw him on the... Isn't that, isn't that this guy? Yeah. And Howie Mandel and um, Heidi Klum. Terry and, Crews. Yeah. Yeah. So he's on there. Okay. So he, he's no longer in America's, or uh, yeah, American Idol. Yeah. So this from Yahoo Entertainment. Like I said, haven't seen it in several years. Look how, look how clean their website looks when there's no ads. Look at this. Look at this. There's nothing over here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Um, only the first little snippet sentence right here. Ryan Seacrest is under huge pressure to deliver Wheel of Fortune as, or to deliver for Wheel of Fortune as it suffers big dip in ratings per new figures. Show insiders are whispering how Vanna White is in prime position to take over if Ryan Seacrest falls flat on his face. Yeah, he sh she should have gotten it to begin with. Has and she ever talked? Um, I, maybe. I don't know. But there's a dip in ratings because the people, the viewership are dying. Well, also because Pat Sajak is gone. You, they replaced him with a nobody or something like that, didn't they? I don't, I don't know who that is. The original Wheel of Fortune guy? Yeah. See, that's all I knew him as. I think he died. Wheel of Fortune guy. Wheel and of Fortune see, guy? I knew Vanna White's name, but not. I think he died. I think so. I don't know. I see stuff and I'm like, oh, I know who that guy is. And I'm like, memory hole. In in one <laughs> ear, out the other. Yeah. Memory hole it. Who's? No, I don't like that person. Never mind. I thought I screwed. No, there's definitely a dip in ratings because the viewership is dying. 
They've been picking up new people when he was still alive. Yeah, they were. Of course they were. Uh, I disagree. Did you ever watch it? No. So do you even know what their audience is? Yeah. Our grandparents who are dying. But the people who go and attend the live things, seems like they're always people middle-aged, our age-ish. These are people they've chosen off the street because it's being filmed. You have to apply. Like, you have to apply. Oh, you're talking about the people who are actually doing the spinning. Yeah. I'm talking about the people who are in the studio audience. Okay. I don't know who that is. Or I don't know how that works. Not who that is. Who's Herb Baumeister? I don't know. Serial killer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, is, I think this is the guy from Indiana that I told you about. I think it is. Hold on. Yeah. Memorial for Fox Hollow Farm victims dedicated in Westfield, Fox News. Let me see what this says. That like, They've been finding parts of people. Like 6,000 bones or something crazy. 10,000 10, bones. Block. On multiple acres. I'm not, not listening to you talk. Yeah, it's, yeah. Big farm... 31 years later, remains of two Fox Hollow murder victims buried. So they were already buried. They unburied. Them. So out of all of the thousands and thousands of bones, they've put together two bodies. The two most recent ones. The two that they've identified and been able to say, hey, this is your family members. So uh, Livingston is one of the estimated 25 victims believed to have been killed by Fox Hollow farm owner Herb Baumeister during the 90s. 25 victims, 10,000 bones. If it's 206 bones 10, per... 10,000 remains. If it's so it 2, says, 206 bones per human. In 96, Hamilton County investigators discovered at least 10,000 crushed and burnt bones and bone fragments well, he obviously fucked up. He was on a farm. He should have had pigs. Pigs will eat it all. Yeah. Why are you telling people how to do murder, Nona? Everybody knows that. Yeah, but you told me I'm not allowed to tell people how to do crime. Why are you telling people how to do Everybody crime? Everybody knows that. Okay. He fucked up. He's on a farm. You feed him to the pigs. Listen, I'm, I really wonder why I never heard about this as a kid. And you looked it up that it was like three hours from your house? I think so. Let's see your Fox Hollow. There's a show? Or no, there's a movie from 2011, The Haunting of Fox Hollow Farm. So were they just trying to use the name? Or are they trying to say that all the dead people are haunting the farm? Probably, and it's probably totally shit. Well, it looks like if it's on never, Netflix. If you never heard about it, you or can no, watch tube, it. Or no, Tubi. That Amazon free thing where it shows ads the entire time. Mm. Joy. Oh, uh, let's see your maps. It's an event venue, it says. <laughs> for everybody who's obsessed with serial killers, it's, it's to, show to die up. for. <laughs> Got it. But, um, psh. Fox Hollow Farm, Indiana. Let's try that. There's a bunch of Fox Hollow Farms, apparently. Oh, that's a really. Murdery looking house. Except it could be not murdery. It's like that. You could make it not murder. German style, whatever. Mm -hmm. Westfield. Where the hell is Westfield? I've I've no West Bloomfield. Where's Westfield? I don't need to copy the clipboard. Come on, zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom. Oh, it's just north of Indianapolis, just north of Carmel. It's right off of thirty one, so literally drive right past it to get there from where I was from. Mm. We actually drove right through there, right through there when we were coming back a couple years ago. And we didn't even know. Yeah, it was right off the highway too. We we drove right here. We drove right past it. We could have We could have gone in the cold and walked around the. the and when were the remains the spoopy found? Spoopy house. Oh, apparently it's rated three point nine stars with seventeen ratings and reviews. Who gave it? <laughs> who gave it down thumbs downs and less less stars? Hold on, we're gonna read the reviews. It's out of five stars, right? Yeah. Or is it out of four? Out of five. We're gonna read the reviews. Who gave it like a one star? I wanna I wanna read 
Pro- well, oh, I could see somebody giving it a one star of like, it's in poor taste to have. Yeah. So first review from Derek, not scared of ghosts. And I don't believe in them. Wish me and my family could own this house. Oh, I thought he was saying, wish five, me good luck. Five stars. He, read it. he wants to own the house and gives it five stars because he is not. He wants a murder house. And he, he says, and not and, and wish okay. me and my family. And okay. yeah. Uh, Diana L. Gonsalves. Okay. And it's like an isomer of a protein. It's L dash Gonsalves. Okay. Like L glutamine. <laughs> okay. Um, what a horrid history. They should convert this into a cemetery and make a memorial for all the poor, all the poor souls killed. Leave it alone. One star. Okay. The PCE left three star review two months ago. I'm sure it would have slept better. Uh, had there not been so many moaning ghosts of murdered men. <laughs> um, so apparently you can sleep here. It's an Airbnb. Maybe. <laughs> Moaning men. Moaning ghosts of murdered men. No, I just like moaning men better. Okay. Most of these are recent. That was two months ago, six months ago. Matthew, three stars. He's a local guy, by the way. Um, they're not kidding. This place really is haunted, thanks to the serial killer years ago. Years ago, they believe he still walks the area. I'm pretty sure he's was killed by the police. Uh, nine eighteen Kiwi. Five star review two months ago. Ironic that the home is now owned by the Graves family. That is <laughs> very punny. Uh, Mr. Nashville 615. They should demolish this place. What a terrible history. One star? Yeah, one star review. <laughs> James Tran, five stars. Really? Ghosts? Come on now. That's the whole review. <laughs> and five stars and i guarantee yeah. you this guy has not been yeah. there yeah uh nari naraj kumar five stars nice house but is really haunted <laughs> but is really haunted <laughs> moaning <stars>. men <laughs> so, the next one lockjaw lani five stars just, i'm just it's stuck just, on his name lock Jaw. Lockjaw Lonnie. Local guide with 40 reviews and four photos. Le- his, Why you got Lockjaw Lonnie? His, his review is. Thumbs up. <laughs> it's because he's got Lockjaw. He can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you identified that because it didn't even occur to me. <laughs> uh, Jordan Christensen. Local guide with 379 reviews. 108 photos posted in Google Maps. Five stars. It is very haunted. It is very haunted. Yeah. Mehmet Ali Kutlu. Local guy with 299 reviews and 207 photos. Have 10,000 buried bodies really been found as written in the news? One star review. Translated okay. from Turkish. So he's never even been there. He just left a review in his native language. The next okay. one's the same thing. It's translated from German. White Sheep Driver says, four stars, quite nice, but was driven away by ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a white sheep driver, and yeah. he was driven away by ghosts. Yeah. Again, these are very ironic and punny. Yeah. Uh, the last four are just star ratings without any sort of review. Somebody, uh, XQZZ, XQZ, five stars eight months ago. That's it. Okay. Probably from the grave. Mm-hmm. It was one of the ghosts giving a review. Yeah. Man, that's it. Lily Christensen left a long review with no punctuation, so I'm not going to read it. Aw. What is it with the young kids and the zero punctuation? No, it's both ends of the spectrum. The old people just type words without using any punctuation. So you try and read what they're saying. You're like, what the fuck? I don't. And they, they don't, they, they type without complete sentences too. So it's like their thoughts that 
should remain in their head, yeah. they wouldn't work in a conversation. Thing bad, too blue, <laughs> not like. You're like, what the? What are you? What are you talking about? Use your Is words. Is it possible that they're using the predictive text? Uh, like this might be appropriate I'm gonna, here. The next time and I. It, s- the next time I see one on social media, I'm just going to have to either show it to your screenshot okay. or something because I, I see it all the time. And it like, I read it and I'm like, what the fuck? Do you understand that you're the only person that understands what you're typing? No, and they don't. Okay. They don't understand that. Visit Fox Hall of Farm. Let us, Let know, us you know if you. Yeah, I really want to know. Make it out alive. There's a hotel pretty close by. It looks like Spring Hill Suites, Indiana Westfield. Top rated in the area. Just north on 31. You could probably walk there if your car gets ghosted somehow or something. If your car gets ghosted. Yeah. Oh, and there's a Kroger. Oh, and Love Sack. What is that? Oh, it's sponsored. What? What? Oh, Carmel has that place that sells those uh, big beanbag chairs. Love Sack is what they're called. The, Apparently they, they have they have a they store. They make couches. They make couches too. Yeah. So they actually have a physical brick and mortar location, like a block away from the farm. <laughs> the dead people. Yeah. Help it's, put the couches together. Look, it's really it's right there. That's awesome. You could go buy yourself a love sack and go sit up. Take, the take, grave site. Take it with you. No, take it with you to the farm. I'm assuming you must be able to rent the place or something. I want to see. Okay, let's go. Does they have a website? It's a housing development as well as listed as. <laughs> you can claim the business. So somebody, nobody's. The Q&A. Is this the old Baumeister farm? Yes. Let's see what the other questions are. Why wouldn't they rename this place? Questions on. I'm going to respond, answer this question. I'm not on my good profile, though, so why would they? Really? That's all you're writing? Yeah. Why would they? Yeah. How are your post superior content belt? Ah, oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> it has, has two thumbs up on it with no responses, though. Uh, this is a serial killer's house. Her name her name is Her Bomb Bomb Bombstier. Is, her name? Yeah. This, the serial killer. This is a serial killer house. Her name is Herb Bombstier. Couldn't even spell the name correctly. <laughs> Damn. I wish I had a... I wish I had a website. I feel like I had... Like, how would people know to stay there? And why would they leave a review if they're not staying there? I'm sure right? there's more. Fox Hollow Farm. The murder house. Fox Hollow Farm... Landmark event company. Wait, hold on. There's a countryside 1940s estate wedding venue. Oh, this is in Seattle. It's a different one. Fox Hall Farm. Um, rental. Maybe. Sure. I mean, if people were being run out by Washington, North Carolina, there's another Fox Hall Farm. <laughs> FHFvenue.com. In Washington, NC. Fox Hall of Farm, venues and event spaces. Fox Hall of Farm, Indiana. Let's try that. House rentals for Fox Hall of Farm, Facebook. Fox Hollow at Geist. Fishers, Indiana. Rent. It's all like realtor.com and stuff, so it's other places around there. That's down. I really was hoping that there was going to be. If you guys can find it, please send it to us. Yeah. Look at this picture. That's probably not it. <laughs> probably not it. <laughs> Unless it is. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> like Murder Stonehenge. Farm Center. Oh, where is this? It's probably at the very bottom. Herb. Herb Spiral. This has to... No, this is Kentucky. What? Herb Spiral. Oh, Herb Spiral. It just happens to be... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crestwood, Kentucky. 
Well, Crestwood, Kentucky is a cool space that you can rent, just so you guys know. Um, were there any other trends recently? You, can you think are of? our trend specialist. Huh. Vanna White's trending. Because she should have gotten the position? Probably. Let's see yeah. here. Uh, I can absolutely see why the rumor mill is all over Maggie Sajak taking over, so her his wife. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, reasons, real reasons Maggie Sajak denied hosting gig. Her daughter, somebody? She looks younger. Who? Pat Sajak's family member of some kind. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Monica, Rob Reich. That guy's weird. Curtis Cup. I don't know what that means. I think that's golf or baseball or something probably. Tennis. Golf. Great Britain and Ireland hold off the United States. Okay. Okay. Tom Cotton. Who's that? Republican somebody. Jet. Just the word jet. Okay. Oh, yeah. I actually saw this. I want to talk about this real quick. Um, <laughs> Ukraine shot down their own F-16. So they shot down a plane that we gave them. On purpose? No, on accident. With rock, uh, uh, surface air missiles that we gave them and killed their own pilot. Why? Because they fucked up. Because they're dumb? Well, some uh, like surface air missile systems are automated, but they have like whitelists. Like, hey, I'm friendly. Don't shoot me. And you can fly through and it doesn't shoot you. But if you're not friendly, it shoots you. So there was probably some sort of miscommunication, something. I don't know. Can't speculate. I mean, I can't speculate. I'm going to speculate. Sounds really bad. They fucked up. But... For the pilot to stay in and not eject would lead me to believe one of two things. Either none of his instruments were working, so he didn't know that he was being shot down. Because they know when there's radar, missile lock, or anything like that, they get warnings in the cockpit. It's like, hey, you're about to be shot down. So it gives you time to eject. Gotcha. Okay. So either it wasn't working Mm -hmm. and he didn't know. Or it was working, and he didn't believe it. Or there was no communication of any kind. Mm-hmm. Or, which is always possible, they really thought that he was an enemy combatant. And he was like, no, no, no. And the system still shot him down anyways. Because there's always, I don't know about all these systems, but there's, in a lot of them, you can detonate without hitting a target. So if you're like, hey, oh, shit, we fucked up. Like, you could detonate it before it blows up your target so that way gotcha. you don't kill your target. <laughs> a lot of things had to go wrong here for friendly fire. So either way, they really fucked up. Yeah. Um, and uh, Twitter is about to be banned from Brazil, which is funny. Why? Um, <clears throat> they're, is this the same as TikTok being banned in America for the last like three plus years? Well, TikTok been, is TikTok is going to be banned from America, but he's literally been saying that for three years. It's so. it's another one of those things. Like I said, laws take forever to actually go into effect. Right, so I'm asking, is it the same thing? Of no, like, no. This is a Supreme Court judge in Brazil who is accused of corruption and uh, election interference and stuff. Okay, had. Twitter slash X's previous legal counsel basically froze her bank accounts, did all kinds of stuff, everything short of actually imprisoning her. And so Elon won't appoint a new in-country legal counsel, legal team to defend X because of it. They froze her bank accounts and everything. And she's obviously nothing but an attorney for the company. She's, she doesn't actually work for Twitter or X. They just, yeah, so he's accused of corruption, manipulation, blah, 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 and so they won't appoint new legal counsel in the country, so the judge is like, you have 24 hours or I'm kicking you out of my country, and has threatened all the, like, the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, everywhere else, so you have to remove them within 72 hours, something along those lines, and any VPN provider that allows access to it, which the entire intent of a VPN is that you're not supposed to know what they're doing. Um, he's threatening them 
with like th- the equivalent of three thousand dollars per day per occurrence of somebody visiting. Yeah. And he's threatening the people using the VPN with the same thing. $3,000 fine per day plus jail time and all this other stuff. So Brazil's doing well. Right as other countries in the area are moving more towards libertarian values, Brazil's like, no. No. Or taking over apartment buildings in America. That was Venezuela. Right. Yeah. That's South America. Yeah. So I'm just, you said, or other countries in that area. Yeah. So <laughs> that's. No, but like Argentina has moved more towards like, so yeah, Venezuela, Colombia, Brazil are basically communist countries. Right. And they're part of, at least Brazil for sure is part of what's called BRICS. The countries that are trying to get rid of the U.S. dollars, the central trade Mm -hmm. uh, monetary system. Okay. So like if you wanted to send money or do business between like Brazil and Spain, for example, you would usually use U.S. dollars to for that transaction. Hmm. They're trying to get rid of it for Chinese, Brazil. That's why it's called BRICS. It's like Brazil, India, Russia, and China. Okay. They're trying to make their own little monetary system. Okay. Yeah. Fun times Fun in times. South America. Yeah. They don't have any oil, so we won't go to war with them. I mean, they do, but it's off the coast, and we already have access to it. Mm. But if it was in the country, then we could invade. Do you want to go fight crocodiles? No? No. I don't want to either. Anyways, that'll be all. Thank you for joining me here. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Um... If you didn't watch the beginning of the video, go watch that so that I don't have to tell you to subscribe again. But I'm telling you right now. Get subscribed. Yeah. You can buy Chloe shirts. Chloe loves it so much. You can, Get subscribed. You can buy shirts or shirt. <laughs> One shirt. We have we have designs with the graphic artist right now. Four of them. Two of them are known as designs. Two of them are mine. So we should have those up. Depends. I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to publish This is the first this. I'm hearing of it. No, I told you the other day. No, you did not. Yeah, I did. I told everyone. You, you told one of the children, I believe it was Cooper, when he was and talking about it. your shirt. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a different conversation. Chloe asked if she could design a shirt. And you were there? I was not part of the conversation at all. And I said, you are welcome to design whatever you want. Take your time. And you said that you were having you don't have to pause some, for emphasis. I'm, I'm trying to recall the conversation. We right no, we weren't. We were in the kitchen, which is over there, it's not the, in here. It's the same thing. And you told her that you were on it and I told her still that she could design what she wanted. She could do mock-ups. Right. Yeah. But you never told me anything more. You were there for the conversation. You said that you were on it. That was it. Okay. So I said, this is the first time hearing that two are my designs, question mark. What designs? Words that we had in our list. No, you stated four different shirts that you wanted. None of them were yeah. my ideas. Yeah, they were. No, they weren't. Yeah, they were. Tangent Express is yours. Um, the Dick Helicopter is yours. Absolutely the fuck not. Quote, quote from Nona to me. Okay, I forgot about that one. Ooh. No, I forgot about it. I... I genuinely do not remember running a like train. One of our first episodes. Running a train, aka the Tangent that's Express. Y- that's you. Yeah. At a minimum, you're dumb. That's you. Yeah. And then I added a new one. What? Defund the NCAA. Okay. So one of them is mine, and I didn't know about it until and right then now. In the future, we have Untapped Potential, Freedom Boner. Okay. I Those don't are know both shit, yours. I don't know shit about fuck. That's also yours. Helicopter Dick. That's yours. Kill Cat. What? 
Kill cat. What? Killdozer, Bobcat, <laughs> Wilmington. Again, that's yours. One is yours. But you're the one that said, when I said at a minimum, you're dumb, and you're like, that's your next shirt, so it was your idea. <laughs> okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Order shirt, period. Yeah. <laughs> and also get a shout-out on the podcast by becoming a member or by buying a shout-out. It's actually cheaper to become a member than it is to buy a shout-out. It is. Goodbye. Bye.